So here we are at the Reading Soda Works, another amazing business in the 18th Ward uh, district of the city of Reading. Denton is the owner of Reading Soda Works, and he's going to show us all the things that go on in this business. I think you're going to be a little surprised about the diversity of what you see here. Denton, thank you for welcoming oh, us. Oh, I am so glad you guys are here. We're excited about our business, and we're excited about being part of the 18th Ward and its growth. So right. uh, big fans of the city. Give us so, a tour. How do you want to start? Well, we are a diversified business in that respect that we have a retail area, which we're standing in. And one of the biggest things that we developed believe it or not, when we started is this wall of soda. This is something that we sell. It's pure cane sugar, non-GMO, gluten-free, all the good doing stuff for everyone. And with the pure cane sugar, we keep the high fructose out of it. So when we started, there were 12 flavors. And when we started, everything was in brown bottles, classic. Uh, as we grew, we said, you know what? I think this would look pretty cool in a clear bottle with the color coming through. So we added that. So Lisa, you are part of this family business that is growing incredibly, Reading Soda Works, and doing a fantastic job. Woman-owned business, yep. right? Yep. Fifty percent at least. So that's important, I think, to point out. But I understand you're the business brains behind this. So tell me a little bit about the, you know, the business, the distribution, all the things that you had to learn. Oh boy. Well, we had to learn everything. Everything. Um, my husband has been in business his whole life. I've been in sales my whole life. But we knew nothing about soda, like like nothing. Um, and we came into this, no, you buy a business as is. We had no idea. No idea that when we actually opened that door, or well, after settlement, what it was like. Oh my gosh. So we had to, we had to learn not only how to make soda, but we had to learn, you know, where the best places to get everything for the bottles, the caps, the boxes. Um, because there wasn't a lot presented to us. We were kind of on our own. But here's where we take that wonderful Reading Draft soda and we bottle it. And down here you'll get to see my bottling crew and my son's running the machine in the back. He's become a soda expert. He had to. How many times a day do you bottle? We bottle every day two loads in the morning. We do 4,200 bottles a day. That's our maximum. And that holds 30 gallons. You see it? Yeah. See how it's filling in the bottles? Uh -huh. It's that simple. See that? Yeah. See the head that came out? That would be none. But it's so... No, it didn't fizz up. Exactly. But there's CO2 and the carbonation is in there. Like so it. Exactly. Taste it. Uh-huh. And, and you know, it's so look, now, light. Look. See there that was a little comes. bit of head? That was it. That's it. That's delicious. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. So Denton, you made a true believer out of me. This is incredible soda. Thank you for the tour and you know the process that you use, the quality that you are producing in a soda. I couldn't have imagined. Thank you so much. Well, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed it and and it's all about you know promoting the Reading Draft brand and we really like how we do it. I hope you guys learned something today. I absolutely did. It's it's quite a different process than what people think it actually is. We had no idea. Well, I'm glad we did. I, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for coming. You bet. Thank Appreciate you. It.